know where I'm at. Remember we talked about this just the other day? I said I was, I didn't, uh, I, had, I, I was trying to figure out the route that I was going to take to get to Florida. I'm here. 616 miles. I'm at a Luz on, I think this is 29 South at a Luz. It's hot down here, 101 degrees. Pretty hot. I'm surprised this Luz had parking when I got here. 29 South. That's where it says. It's a pilot. Probably about probably about 10 miles back north, northbound. And they had another Loves that was northbound too. When you first get off I-4. But that was probably like 50 miles back. I didn't want to park there. So I just kept it moving. Whew. Oh man. Hey, somebody asked me a question today, man. Matter of fact, I know who it is. Let me see, let me see. Let me see who it is. A lot of times I'll be forgetting who asked me these questions. Where you at, buddy? Jeremy Owens. Jeremy Owens. Don't understand the 14 hour clock. I shut down before I go in the red, but my 10 hour clock keeps it rolling. The 14 hours every time. What am I doing wrong? Maybe you can help me out on that. I know exactly what you're talking about, buddy. When you get in the sleeper, when you go off duty, your time still ticks. It's like it's like you're going in the negative. That's what it, that's what's happening. You're going in the negative. That's perfectly normal. It's not gonna re, it's not gonna stop ticking until you get ten hours consecutive off duty or sleep of birth. Like in my case, I I never go sleep of birth. Never. I might go sleep of birth sometimes just for fun. <laughs> I might go sleep of birth, but most of the time I go straight off duty. I think I did an eight-two split last year. One time I did an eight-two split. You know, then you got to be in a sleeper. You got to get your eight hours. Then, you, like, in a situation like that, I tell you, the situation I was in, I was at uh, what's that place called? Um, Camden Yards. I got to Camden Yards about about maybe like eight o'clock in the morning. One morning, and um. Man, these motherfuckers ain't load me to about to about four o'clock that afternoon. They didn't load me to about four o'clock, and I was off duty for for a long time for about four hours. And then I was talking to my buddy Jimmy. My buddy Jimmy I always talk about. And Jimmy was like, "Hey man, you better try to do an A two split, cause uh, you gonna be fucked up." I was like, "All right," but see, like I said, I was off duty already for like four hours. So what I had to do was I had to go put myself, I had to immediately put myself in a sleeper. Then I had to go edit the off duty time for four hours. I had to edit that back to the sleeper. And so so by the time I got loaded, got it tarped and pulled out, I think I had like seven hours and 43 minutes in the sleeper. And so what I did, I just pulled outside the gate and I waited like 15 minutes or whatever it took to get the whole eight hours, and then I took off. <laughs> I got I got all my drive time back. You ain't gonna get all your drive time back, but you gonna pretty much get whatever that you lost by your 14 hour clock, you know, going all the way down. And then, uh, but when I got to the truck stop, cause it was already late, I was I, I had like, I got like six hours back. I could have drove the whole six hours, but I didn't. I was. I didn't want to do that because then I would have had to stop, get the two more hours, just to get the rest of the time back. So what I did was, I got uh, I got the whole uh, I got to the truck stop. I took a whole another. I took a ten hour break. I got to the truck stop. Took a ten hour break. Then another thing too about new drivers, because I had the same thing when I first started driving too. Like you know, you start you start your clock in the morning. You got eight hours. That's all you got. Eight hours that you can work at that point without taking a 30 minute break. But you know, you'll go to a receiver or a shipper and you put yourself off duty. And you'll see your clock, you'll see your clock still moving. Like say it take 30 minutes for you to get to the shipper or receiver. So when you get to the shipper or receiver, you go off duty 
And, and while you sitting there waiting in your truck, you still see your time going down. You like 729, 728, 727. But you like, damn, I'm off duty. Why is my damn time still ticking? It's going to tick. It's going to tick until you get 30 minutes off duty. Then it'll go back to eight hours or whatever. And uh, that's another thing too, man. That's hours of service. It's for young drivers. Hey, this shit ain't this shit ain't rocket science. This shit ain't rocket science. That damn 14 hour clock, it's gonna tick. It's gonna tick the whole day until you get 10 hours off duty or sleeper berth. I'm not gonna tell y'all not to put yourself in a sleeper berth because my old trainer was like, uh, you always put yourself in a sleeper. If you if you go in the truck stop and buy something and you got the time on the receipt and the DOT check your log and he's seen that you was in a truck stop at this point in time, but you supposed to be in a sleeper, that's that's a little dumb, dumb shit the old truckers say. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever happened to anybody. If the DOT happened to see a receipt laying in your truck and he matched it up with, with the time on your clock, I don't know. It's never happened to me. Never happened to me. And I've had plenty of DOT inspections. The only only thing that I've had the DOT officer look at on my log was to see when my last reset was. He didn't check. He didn't check the damn pre-trip. He didn't check loading and unload time. The only thing he did was check when's the last time I had a reset and did I have any violations on the clock. That's all he checked. Yeah, but my old trainer talking about if if you say you in the sleeper at nine o'clock and the DOT find a receipt from 9.30, he gonna violate you and put you out of service. I don't know. Has that ever happened to anybody? I don't know. <laughs> hey, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I think I think it might be a tall tale. I don't know. That hey, that's what I think. It might be a tall tale. Hey, tell y'all another thing too, man. I'm surprised that this Loves had uh still had a lot of parts when I got here. Cause when I came up on the highway, highway over there, you see those one, two, three, you got four trucks over there off by itself. That's that's not a real parking. They they made no spots. So when I came up on the highway, I seen them over there. I was like, damn, truck stop must be full. I'm gonna have to make a spot. But then when I pulled in right over this way, and I seen like like 10 spots, probably more than that. And you can still make a spot over there where them other guys at. Hey, one thing about me, I ain't scared to make a spot. Now I sure ain't scared. I'll make one quick. I was prepared to make one tonight. <laughs> Like when I was coming down that state route, I was already looking around, like looking at some places where some other trucks was at. I passed by Lowe's. I probably seen like six trucks over there. But uh, that was on the other side of the highway, so I, I was all the way in the right lane. I ain't feel like breaking my damn neck to get to the left lane, and it want nothing around the Lowe's anyway, but just the Lowe's. If it would've been like a Walmart shopping center, you know, I might would've, uh, might would've tried to get over there. But I'm good right here at this Lowe's, but it's Love's. I'm good right here. Oh man, I'm about to go in there, take a shower. Even though I ain't did nothing but drove all damn day. I'm about to go in there, take a shower. Probably get me a, a cold refreshment. Since I can't drop this load off till 12.30. That's, that's my appointment time, set a Lowe's distribution center. So you know how they go. But I'm gonna call in the morning and see if maybe they can uh, sneak me in early. But more than likely, they're probably gonna tell me no, cause you know, Lowe's, they, I, I hate them appointment times. 12, 12.30 in the afternoon on a Monday. So I ain't gonna start my clock till late. If I get another load tomorrow, I got a dead head like hell to get there, and they got to stop. Only place I could think I could probably get a load would be CMC in Jacksonville, because they don't stop shipping till I think like 9, 10 o'clock at night. But if I get something out of CMC, I hope it's going back to Virginia, because I can ride that whole clock out on 95, 
Ride that, ride it, ride it straight on out. Straight back to the north. Today is Father's Day. I missed all the cookouts. I got invited to one not too long ago. Right when I parked at the truck stop, one of my buddies hit me up like, "Where you at? Why you ain't come over?" I said, "Man, I'm in Florida." Hey, it is what it is. So happy Father's Day to all y'all, uh, all y'all fathers and mothers that act like fathers, cause the father ain't around. All the stepfathers, all the father-in-laws, all the grandfather-in-laws that act like fathers, all the uncles, or as my buddy Chris Lockhart says, Tio. That's Spanish, Spanish for uncle. Woo! Flatbed gang, I'm out.